Hello kitties, this is Fanvi and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. As you see from the title, I'll be talking about the callouts. I'll be going through all eight rank maps as well as the vocabulary that are very crucial to effective communication. I hope that I'm able to help newcomers to the game players that wish to improve the communication, as well as international students that switch to the server because I'll be talking about the translation from Chinese to English, mainly because I also refer to the Chinese set of calls as I'm making this video. So I hope that this will be to help you and for whatever reason you are visiting this video. If you have any thoughts, comments or opinions on how to better communicate these things, please share them with me in the comment section. I love to discuss with you and because <laughs> she ain't caring. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So I'll be attaching the links to my bio. So the PDF and Google Docs were open for your reference. So start before I start, I will mention the basic concepts. Dungeon, the secondary exit method, basement, as the name says, it's a basement or extra chairs. It's hard to get out after your chair death, so please stay out of the basement. Exit gate, front gate, back gate. It's also easier to call gates by the landmark, for example, shut gate or moon gate. Three pallets or three pallets or three pallets close to each other. There are exceptions like arms factory because they deleted the pallets, but people always called it that, so that's why there's a continuality. Shack 11 is a parallel pathway that are created by three parallel walls two story two story entrance two story opening entrance is usually the first floor you can go into the two story it might be a just a stairs for some maps but for the other maps like Leo's memory there are entrances two story opening is the area where you can jump down it's kind of like a hole in the wall, but a hole to drop down vertically is called the drop down hole. You don't need a double power window, it's like two power one window. Really nice cutting areas, so keep your eye out for those areas when you cut to better plan your rep. And starting with Arms Factory. With three map three dungeons, shock dungeon, mill dungeon, factory dungeon. Only three. Very easy to remember. So starting from bottom left, sandbags, these sandbags are sandbag ruins, moon gate, small gate, pipe container, pipe pallet, shack, this is shack, so that is shack ruins, and deep shack. This in at top is horse or no man's because it's very hard to cut there. But it's a transition from shack main gate runes. Main gate, main gate runes, main gate chair, because that's the chair closest to it. The middle cipher, three pallets, like I mentioned, three pallets, the name of three pallets, but there are no longer three pallets there because it was too hard, to, too easy of a kite there. So devs deleted, deleted one of the pallets. Um, my cat is distracting me. Factory, factory side pallet, factory side micro pallet, factory dungeon. So that is everything for one factory. Now moving on to Red Church, the dungeons. Top broken dungeon, great dungeon, back gate dungeon. From left, bottom left to clockwise, top, mid, bottom. Cypress are main one, two, three, four, from top to bottom. Come from bottom to top. So, 
chef baking baking rooms this whole area but it can be split into baking side here back power area man ice here because it's almost impossible to save there back a dungeon spawn this is outside church cipher this god kite because that power always has to be broken so some people call that the god palette i usually call it the one power one window where you transition from back gate rooms to grave and the transition from grave to the carpet is the rock the grave rock i usually I usually point I usually point that out because the priest can make a portal there and as a priestess main I always look out for these portal areas. Church always best to tell your teammates if you're a church shack window or a church grave window. That will help. Front gate. That is everything for a red church. Now moving on to hospital. Three dungeon farm. Statue shack T walls. From bottom left, Frankie Cipher or Wall Cipher. So this is statue, so that is statue rooms. Some people call it a statue dungeon rooms, which are palace, palace on window, but this whole area is statue rooms. That is the big rooms. Number system doesn't really matter because it's easier to say statue room cipher or room, room, room statue cipher or room shack cipher. And it's either to distinguish it that way because the numbering system doesn't really exist. It used to kind of exist, but no one really uses it. Shack gate, shack dungeon, shack dungeon rooms, shack rooms, small gate rooms, back gate rooms. Double doors, because there are two sets of doors here. Two wall, three pallets. It's a hospital and distinguish between the entrances. I like I mentioned double doors because there are two doors here. Rooms entrance, statue entrance, upstairs opening, out and like the outside over here, bird cage. And inside there are the hole. It's usually just called the hole. And the other one's statue drop down or the bird cage drop down or the bird cage hole. It's easier to call it out like that. So information is easier easily transmitted to your teammates. That is it for hospital. Now moving on to next side. Three dungeon farm. Beach, big boat, front gate, 11, small boat. That is 11, 11 corner, where we might be shit, haunted, or that corner. Small boat, twin windows, cornfield, shack, back gate, shack, portal or craft shack, area, Wally walls, nice cutting area, beach, shore, big bone, that is the nice cutting area, very nice cutting area, but don't die in basement, middle, front gate, big rock, rocky rooms, that is it for lakeside, now moving on to moonlit, moonlit, Non working dungeon, cypher bridge dungeon, second stop, haunted house dungeon, working carousel dungeon, pit dungeon. So, again, just calling these dungeons spawned by the landmark. So, it's like the big, bigger pieces of, bigger pieces of buildings. First stop, starting from bottom left, first stop, back, working carousel, two pile of one window, third stop. We're working through power search stop your pals. The walls, tent, not working through power. It can also be that, so you should call it the slot, tent, slide, pals. Not working bridge or cipher bridge. Not working carousel, second cipher, because that's cir first cipher, first stop, first cipher. Top, front gate. Second stop, second stop cipher. Outside haunt is this whole area, or I included this actually as well, but you can differentiate by saying it's the haunt, outside haunted plus the second stop between first and haunted. On the palette, oh, this is a haunted house, there's a working bridge. This is like the working bridge outside haunted house palette area. That's it for a minute. Now moving on to the next one. 
Leo's memory. Five, the moon spawn, shack, Christmas tree, cornet, or two palatable window, factory dungeon or factory, container dungeon, monkey dungeon. Again, upon left, factory corner or ship corner, monkey container or factory corner container, moon game, moon, moon game rooms, or uh, this whole area is moon game rooms. I usually call that three pals, and this is like the right underneath moon game rooms. Water tank or water tank rooms, some people call that. Middle shack, Christmas tree, or Christmas tree cave. That's Christmas tree cave or front gate, front gate room or Christmas tree rooms. It's usually better to call that the gate rooms. This is like the Christmas tree rooms, Christmas tree cabin area. Container, that's the box or bigger container. Twin palace or gall kite or two palace one window. Outside factory, factory. That is it for Leo's memory. Dungeon spawns for ever sleeping. That is fake gate or cabin, grave dungeon, middle dungeon. Bottom left, grave gate, grave cabin, fake gate, two pallets, fake gate, cabin. That is the bigger cabin, usually just called cabin or two pallet window. Some people even call that 11. School gate because there used to be a school before they changed the, changed the map. Corner house, some people also call that the corner house gate. Geisha, geisha cabin, this is the geisha dungeon spawn. Some people also call grave dungeon geisha dungeon because both of these are like landmarks. Two story and that's middle. That is it for ever sleeping. Chinatown. So, Chinatown, this is lion's dungeon, tunnel's dungeon, or partial dungeon. These two, some people call it the lantern dungeon or the umbrella dungeon or hotel dungeon, but I usually go by tunnel and pawn shop because I believe that this is a more straightforward naming. Really depends on you and your teammates. So don't worry if it's different, as long as it communicates what you want to communicate the information is transmitted then whatever you call it it is fine so don't feel bad and if you want to convince me that i should change it feel free to do so in the comment section i would love to discuss the ways to improve my communication so from bottom left pawn shop uh, or pawn, pawn shop corner or umbrella gate corner you could call that shit kite Lion's house or restaurant, two story, two story corner, which is smaller two story, some people call that bigger two story, lantern, lantern corner, tunnel, this area, that is the theater, this is a tree or middle, flower house because there's a flower over here, this is God Kite Hotel or a bigger two story, uh, hotel corner. That is umbrella gate. There's no front or back. People just call it lantern and umbrella to distinguish. And that is it for the maps. Now let's move on to vocabulary. So for the vocabulary, to rescue or save. So going for the rescue. The rescuer is the person that's going for the rescue, or it might be the profession like American coordinator. Tide is just the persona tie turner, camp chair, cipher or gate, that means the hunter is like standing right in front of them, to decode, this is to work on the cipher, prime the cipher, to keep it at 99, so then when it's the last cipher, you can pop the cipher to give your teammates the borrow time persona effect which will heal them instantly by 50. Cypher, obviously, what you need to decode to get the gates open. To give electricity to the gates. 
force heal is to heal your teammate in front of the hunter to force the hunter to hit you or to buy time to pop the cypher body block to um, go in front of the hunter to make sure that you can't go through to trap the hunter essentially is to kind of get them in an area where they can't get out without putting you down I remember, I'm very I still remember in the past when the when you can still body block when you're on the ground that would be really scary for the hunters to kite obviously is to contain the hunter to keep the hunter around you relocating is to go from one place to another creating distance is a very good hiding strategy transition palettes are palettes that you should put down so you can help your teammates or help yourself to use your nature reflex palette contesting is usually just going <laughs> against a hunter around one palette looping a palette is to go you use the same palette but you don't really drop it and so then you can use that same area without tr relocating or, tr or transitioning double back oh relocating for transition loop is to yes like i said to go around double back is when the hunter or you decide that is better oh wait no it's usually when the hunter say when the hunter decides that they're going to go the other way around so they can meet so they can get to you closer to buy to buy the distance wait buy the distance to create the distance to shorten the distance mind gaming is kind of like pelicans oh, pelicans is part of mind gaming which is to kind of like try to try to not get hit essentially pair shock it's like when you get hit as you are using or as you are vaulting juking is to like trying to dodge a hit tunneling is when the hunter chases you for a very long time switching targets is when the hunter who won't chase you anymore is to chase someone else Basic attack or normal attack, charge attack, attack recovery, ability, attack reset, cooldown. So these are very important skills. Basic attack is when they don't use their ability. Charge attack is when they press on their head, so it's a longer hit at the cost of using a long, taking longer to make the attack. Ability is what the hunter can carry. So different hunters have different abilities. For example, Wu Chang have the level, so they can shape shift, and Anne have a they have she has a disciple have a cat which she can release to stun you and put you to immobilize you. Attack reset is when the hunter uses the when the hunter drops down or they might use excitement when they are stunned to reset their attack for down the time that it takes between the abilities how many did i put okay it's almost done how oh, like ballooning still get hit when the hunter is not in balloon that Ballooning have when the hunter balloons you, they have zero attack recoveries. So they can hit you twice, so be careful not to hit behind on the balloon. Normal attack and one. Okay, that's a repetition. This turf. I should I should just bring these up. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. Vault 
is to when you cross a pallet or a window, slow vault, fast vault. That is when you, uh, if, when you, if you vaulted in front of the pallet or when you walk towards the pallet and then, or when you ran towards the pallet or a window and vaulted it. That will give you different speeds of vaulting. When you slow vault, there is no reminder to the hunter that you're vaulting this. But when you're fast vault, it reminds the hunter that you're there and you're vaulting this. So strategically, you can slow vault when the hunter cannot see you to buy the seats for yourself. Destroy the pallet or step on pallet. The, when the hunter... I feel like it makes more sense if have you ordered it this way? Okay. Shift when your quarter health, when you have quarter damage, or more, depends on who you're going against. Half health is like 50%. One chip, or 70%, 75%. Obviously, the you just have to know like your damage is like chipped and help half help. Four mana or four kills, four mana escape is when you win with or you lose with everyone killed or you win with everyone escaping. Tie is when two people escape. One man or man man escape, three man or three man escape. Is when you win the game or you lose the game, but someone gets out or someone stays in the mansion. These are the these are the hunter traits. Blink is when they can quickly go through. Excitement when they can re when they can reset their status. So it's like you, they, you can't stun them because they're invincible. During excitement, but excitement you you can't use excitement against Antiquarium's push. Like when she pushes you, she can't stun you, but she can push. She can still push you, and I think uh, yes, it's also a wild thing when during the time that he's pushing you. I think controller. When you put a dog out, peepers when you put an eye down to check where people are, teleport when you can quickly get from one place to another long distance. Charging is usually like when you're charging an ability, so it's different than charge attack because charging is usually talking about the ability. First presence, full presence. First presence, a different ability is unlocked. Full presence, all their abilities are locked. Item is from your chest or the item you carry into the game. It's like the chest. And so, needle to self heal, perfume to record your status, elbow pad to. You to bounce off the wall, football to dash towards the no, where shev, your camera, wherever your camera is facing, watch to the separate hunter. Okay, OBS is still running. It keeps on crashing. I had to record just so many times. End game is when all the ciphers are popped and you're trying to get the gates open. That's end game. Alt. So you're talking about alternate account or smurf account is when someone has a main account with a higher tier so they, and they're playing on an account with a lower tier. Friendly hunter is when they just they are giving you the win. So please do not stun them for the points because they're only trying to be friendly to you. They're trying to make your day. Trolls are people that purposely do not want to play the game with you specifically or they might be doing it to everyone 
which is even worse. Post match is when you talk when you kind of cuss in the chat after the match. I usually have that turned off. I suggest you do as well. <laughs> but some people enjoy talking in post match. You might want to compromise compliment someone in post match, which will also make their day. But I don't want to but I'd rather not be in post match. Game sense is what, like your ability to mind game your po your opponents. Uh really legendary match? Uh wait no, I actually still need that here. Legendary is the mode when you can wait. Legendary, especially when you have more bands. But they changed it. There's even more bands when you get to Titan or Hydro. Whatever. Slug or bleed out is when you put people to death through letting them bleed out. Buff is when the deaths give a character more ability to chase or to kite. Nerf is when the hunter uh, when death think that character is too strong. So they're going to nerf them, they're gonna make them weaker. To ship is to think that two characters should get to be together or two players should be together. Turning or competitive gaming as the name says, professional gaming is when there's a professional team that plays the game as their job. Koa is a global, com uh, the global competition. IVL is the the professional competition. Uh, the I I think the V League is the professional competition. Comp Professional competition. What of the league? IVC, Identity Champion, is the Japanese. Wait, was this Star League? Did they change it? It's the Japanese tournament. It didn't be Community League, is the. There's a non official one. I think there's the Summer Tournament that I haven't added in the same. So I think also a professional. Uh, it's also um NetEase. It's organized by NetEase and the tiers. Worker B, Hound, Elf, Mammoth, Griffin, Unicorn, Champion, Titan, for Survivors, Tarantula, Cobra, Crocodile, Saber, Tooth, Tiger, Manticore, Cyclops, Evil Dragon, Hydra. This is everything. I won't be talking about characters today. Just the map and vocab. Oh, this is still working, right? Okay. Got that recorded. Now I want to talk about Chinese. The Chinese translation. Okay. Here is Chinese translation.然后，基本上的话，我觉得我就不用每个都念一遍了吧。中，简英文的每个都念一遍，主要是为了就是以照顾新手，就是我觉得会看中英对照对照的。这个部分专门为了为此而来的基本上也是知道这个游戏是怎么运作的怎么叫但是是不知道中英对照这个时候我就不多废话你可以暂停视频或者是去我的 Xiaomen, Bucket, Xiaomen, Three Pilots, Moo, Shack, Eleven, uh, Shong Shi, Eleven, Arlo, Two Story, Arlo Wuko, Two Story Entrance, Arlo Keiko, Two Story Opening, Arlo Dong, Two Story Drop Down Hall, Now my Intro, Two Pilot One Window, Now, Two Pilot One Window, Da Feng, The Gong Chang, The Factory, Now, there's a, 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 there's a,
集装箱 （container）。那就知道这些的话，就以此类推。以此，一般人黄鸡的话，英文里面都是叫 middle cipher。或然后就没有所谓的人黄鸡，一般就是在哪里怎么叫，然后一般人黄鸡就是在中间的嘛，就什么都没有。墓地 grave， 大推 top broken， 小推把 bone broken。那一二三四的话，一般外国人不怎么用。记住四是 top， 二三 mid， 然后一是 bottom， 或者 shaft broken。但是，一般都是叫套路，套路包里。然后，我看还有什么主要讲一下：陨石像 （statue）、T wall， 有 T 墙 （T wall）、鸟笼 （bird cage）。一字墙就放给我，或者是我，就没有什么特别的了。海边 （beach）， 大船 （big boat） 和小船 （small boat）， 玉米地 （cornfield）， 厕所 （toilet） 就是小屋 （toilet house）， 外板。海边 （beach） 我刚刚说了，船头 （floor） 和船尾 （earth）。一一般怎么怎么叫？因为就都叫就那个码头 docks， 就叫那个了。呃，然后，呃，我楼我楼梯的话就分外侧、内侧、outer 和 inner 嘛。然后外面的双双船 double b o a t Gravel haunted house, 河边 lakeside, Arkansas stuck and stop, 古木马 carousel, working carousel. 这个就不太需要去，就整个是用这边我写的是 working carousel. 人皇帝叫死木马，地窖。Carousel， 反正，反正是这些名字，就有些时候沟通的时候就多叫多多多说两种，多形容一下，反而会更加好沟通嘛。你说这些比较常用的我。就是想到了我就放上去，有什么需要的可以在评论区跟我指出来，我会加到上面去的。或者说有什么疑问也可以在评论区上找我询问。私募嘛 ，broken c a r e s 或者 non-working c a r e s 嗯 ，non-working c a r e s 嗯，马上冲的，咱们就是 stone 站 last。First stop. 帐篷 tent. 古木马 working carousel. 然后是 slide. 滑梯 slide. 鬼屋 haunted house. 鬼板 haunted palace. 有些人说是 god kite， 就是神一样的六鬼区域，因为特别好六鬼。里奥那边石楠树 Christmas tree. 集装那个集装箱 container 吗？啊，然后就是分 factory dungeon 的那个，就是嗯，然后就是没有什么特别的了。好，我们这这个比较重点就是中文一般不会叫学校门，就很少听到有人叫学校门，就学校门就是那个独栋门了。家门 big gate， 南美窗，他们一般叫 cabin， 就是小屋。然后那个红蝶的那个桥那里就是 gate shop， 墓地 graveyard， 我前红蝶红教堂讲过了，然后独栋 corner house， 
，基本上就是这些哦。还有唐人街，唐人街狮子楼，觉得 Lions， 或者那个也叫餐厅，有些人说，或者是中场那种隧道，就是灯笼旁边的那个那个小桥，就我一般叫它隧道，英文的，中文我不太清楚，但好像都有不同叫法。当铺 p a w n shop）。就是散门，散门酒店对面的那个，是左下角的那个，是当铺，这边刷一个，刷一个地窖嘛，然后散门交流。一，感觉好像中文也没怎么人叫他当铺，英文我会，我们会叫他这个 pawn shop， 我这边 s h a k e high， 就是很垃圾的这个区域。我们的天桥。那就是 bridge， 然后灯笼是 lantern， 花楼那边有个花圈的，是 flower house， 是 flower to the window， 就那个花圈双窗。然后酒店也有些人叫它好六区，是 god kite。我好像没有加入，呵呵。三门 umbrella gate， <笑>忘记把这个加进去了。那这些词汇，这边的主要就是给中文念的，但是英文刚刚也也是给他们解释了一下。就这个文档，其实最开始主要还是我给我的一些朋友做的。然后来我就想说完善一下它，最好也是做这个视频，挺久没有发视频了。好，扯远了。词汇：救人 （rescue），save； 救人位 （rescuer）。一般不会有人说 savior。怪的，我命太的。手，手椅子，手电机，手门，那就是叫 cam。手机 （decode）。压机 （prime）。开机 （pop）。电击就是 cipher， 强迫 force here， 卡位 body block， 就困屠夫，把屠夫给困住 trap， 路轨 kite， 转点 relocating 或 transitioning， 拉距离或者马拉松 creating distance or by distance， 转点板 transition pilot， 板区博弈 pilot contesting， 绕板子 loop， 反绕 double back 博弈。Mind game, 震慑 tear 上，人皇部 juke， 死追 tunnel， 混追 switch target， 平移 basic attack， 隔膜 attack 或者 M E， 蓄力刀 charge attack， 气球刀 balloon， 空刀 missed hit， 擦刀 attack recovery， 技能 ability， 落地刀或者剪擦刀 attack reset， 冷却布料，交互 vault， 慢翻 slow vault。快翻 fast fall， 晕眩 stop， 挣扎 struggle， 破板 destroy pallet 或者 step on pallet， 三分之四分之三死就是 chipped， 半死 half out 四分之一死，就七十五受伤 one chip， 就虽然很多屠夫都是可以打出奇怪的协调，但是一般的话就是 chip 就是。你多受了一点伤，然后哈佛就半死<咳>。我重录了好多遍，我现在嗓子都哑了。刺杀 four man， 刺出 four man stick。对，一般刺杀或者 four kill， four man kill， 或者是 four man。four man 的话，一般就是 four man win 或者 four man lose。就看你是什么角度在说。Tie 平局，一杀或者是一出 one man 或者 one man skip， 三杀 three man 或者 three man skip。一般这个 Q 一般都不会怎么放进去
射线、领金身、三狗穿呃呸，狗 patroller 穿插眼 paper teleport 传送，蓄力 charging 就是蓄伞啊、蓄蓄猫啊这种，一阶 first present， 二阶 full present item 道具箱子 chest 呃针 needle 香水 perfume 护腕 double pad 球 football 表 watch。开门阵 ，end game。小号是 alt 或者 smurf account。那 alt 这个是 alternate 的缩写。佛系 friendly hunter 演员 troll。赛后 post match。行，飞条我加这个是吧 ？Influence 意识。殿堂 legendary 放血 slug 或者 bleed out。加强 buff 虚弱 nerf。这个 CP 是 ship。比赛是 turning 或者 competitive gaming， 职业是 professional gaming， 深渊是 call of, call of the abyss。这个大小写好怪呀！职业是 I V L identity identity V League， 日本赛 I V C identity V China， 欧美赛 I C L。I D V Community League， 这个是就我当时玩的时候有这么一个民间赛，等等，我就想把这个给删了。哈哈，这个民间欧美民间民间赛，然后这是他们一到七阶呃巅峰期，他们一般都是叫这个名字的。呃，一阶 ，Worker B 或者屠夫 Tarantula， 二阶 Hound 或 Cobra， 三阶 Elk 或者 Crocodile， 四阶 Mammoth 或者 Saber Tooth Tiger， 五阶 Griffin 或者 Manticore， 六阶 Unicorn 或者 Cyclops， 七阶 Champion 或者 Evil Dragon， 巅峰 Titan 或者 Hydra。你跟他们说这个数字，他们可能第一时间反应不过来。就你跟他们说个名字，哎，他们瞬间就懂了。我还我一般还得反应一下，尤其是就是五阶之前的，哎，我就我就知道一个，就这个三阶的，四阶的我也经常不记得，四五阶老是搞混，反正知道巅峰是这个 Titan 和 Hydra 就行。然后剩下的话就是角色的，我下个视频再做。那就这样了。And that is it for the video. I hope that you're able to obtain what you needed from this video. You can always check out the attachment, the links to the attachment in the bio. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and share with your friends if they also need help with the cards. And. Bye bye. <laughs>